Also, a developing story tonight is called Operation Maze Monsters. Eight suspects, these guys are now facing more than 200 felonies for child pornography charges. One of the eight suspects was a man who ran a photography business based out of his home in Lakeland. Stefan Young is accused of taking pictures of kids as young as 13 in their underwear, and they say sometimes in the nude. And the sheriff says that this guy knew that he would be in trouble if word got out. And he said, but listen, if Grady Judd finds out, we're in trouble. Because, see, he'll take art and make it pornography. Well, Stefan, it's pornography. It's not art. And your ugly mug is in the county jail. That's right. He knew he was going to be in trouble when we figured it out. And it's still hard to believe that there are people out there busted by Polk County deputies, especially after the sheriff has had so many of these types of press conferences, letting everyone know exactly about these sting operations. So we were along for the ride as a home was raided. Today is the anatomy of a takedown. What are we going out to see here? Yeah, we are we are out here serving a search warrant. And as I understand, they've already found child porn. We were there with Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd the day that Stefan Young's home in Lakeland was searched. In cases like this, the investigation begins long before undercover officers arrive on the scene. Yeah, ready? Ready. Right. The morning of the raid, the sheriff meets with his team and the state attorney to see what they're facing. And are we doing a search warrant today? Yes, sir, we are. We, we are doing a search warrant at um, State Park Road over there near Saddle Creek. And it is on a boardwalk photographer. After the briefing, it's off to the home. We have a mobile lab, laboratory, that we bring to these scenes to, to work up the cases. And we're going to go into the mobile lab and look around. Hey, folks. Once on the scene, undercover investigators bring evidence out of that house to the lab to search for images related to child pornography. We received a tip from an individual stating that this was a gentleman who was advertising bourgeois photography services online on Craigslist. And in their conversations, they mentioned that he had possibly uh, some underage photographs of children that were statute. Also inside that mobile lab, they can process other evidence, like drugs. What do you suspect it is? It's a crystalline substance. It looks like it's probably going to be methamphetamine. All of this taking place in a neighborhood full of families. This is a working community. Yep. Probably kids all over the place. Oh, kids all over the place. Wonderful people. They work hard. They're good folks. We Polk County has done hundreds, if not thousands, of these types of busts for child pornography or child sexual assault. And it doesn't appear to be slowing down. Does it ever just baffle you that people still do this in this day and age, knowing that you're in Polk County, you guys are looking for it, they've seen how you do it online. Does it baffle you that they still do it? It is an addiction. It is an addiction as strong as cocaine or heroin or alcoholism. Many of these offenders will never be rehabilitated, and that's what drives the sheriff. Our research shows us the vast majority of people, not all, but the vast majority of people that indulge in child pornography would sexually better a child if given the opportunity. Child pornography affects everyone associated with it. As we were leaving, a woman walked up to our vehicle to ask what was going on. So he's going to go to jail today. Oh, my. It was then that we learned she was the sister of the man being arrested. Yeah, he, he's been helping me, especially since my husband died. Well, I, I, it's a bad mistake he made. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. And so Judd says he and his team will keep searching, looking for people intent on harming kids. In Polk County, investigative resources are focused or prioritized on people who are child predators, possess child pornography, or want to hurt your child. Children are the most precious and important thing we have in this community, and we're going to protect them at all costs. Will Stefan? It's pornography, it's not art. 
And you're ugly now the sheriff tells me that he's going to keep on doing these types of undercover operations as long as people are dumb enough to keep committing crimes in Polk County. Sarah, I bet you see that happen right. so much. Right. It was an amazing scene to see how it all goes down, yeah. but it helped us understand better what goes into all these. Absolutely. It's a big operation. All right.